Hey, what's going on guys? My name is the Wolf Warriors, and welcome back to another episode of Insane Pursuit Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations that I have found on the Steam Workshop. And to start off with, this creation's name is called the AA Gatling Tank. Let's go ahead and take a nice little look all around the creation so you guys can see all of its beautiful glory here. All the turrets spinning up here, that's always beautiful. Let's go ahead and just take off here. Uh, yes, this thing is six wheel drive, it has fully independent suspension, and uh, yeah, it's insanely awesome. Here we go. Uh, let's just go over here to this village over here. No big deal. We'll go ahead and check out these weapons up here. Uh, let's go ahead and start firing this off. There we go. And, uh, yeah, as you guys see here, it's basically a Gatling gun of fiery crossbows. It's really freaking cool. And as you guys see, the village is no match for the fiery crossbows here. It's all burning down. It's always beautiful. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and toggle this back off. All right, let's go ahead and try out the cannon as well. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's a very high power cannon. As you guys see there, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can take out a couple of these tents. There we go. Uh, moving it all around. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and fire off the crossbows as well because, you know, why not? There we go. Uh, just make more horror. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn those back off. Uh, but yeah, this is an insanely awesome creation. I had to show it to you guys because, I mean, just look at it. It's a Gatling gun tank. What more could you ever want? I mean, that's just, that's a boy's dream right there. Let's go ahead and run over a couple of these knights. There we go. Get wrecked, little dudes. That's right. You shouldn't be in my way. That's what you get. Uh, I think that guy over here, he's he's faking dead. Oh, there we go. We'll just run him over then. There we go. And, uh, oh, okay. He was actually dead. All right. Okay. And there's also some other camera modes. Let's go ahead and try this. Oh, there's a, there's a knight underneath my freaking creation. No, get out of here, dude. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay. He's dead. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are some other camera modes. Let's go ahead and check those out. Okay. There's a nice little first person mode. Let's go ahead and uh, drive around a little bit with this and uh, crush a couple of houses. Here we go. Uh, you do have to stop going forward to be able to turn this creation it's a little bit weird but there we go crush a couple of houses you guys know how it is uh, let's go ahead and check out if there's any others uh, yeah there's a nice little camera view up here uh, let's go ahead and turn these around over here and we'll go ahead and fire off and uh, destroy some of this stuff over here oh okay i think my crossbows are gone uh, let's go ahead and use the cannon then that's always works there we go shoot off the cannon that's always great beautiful okay i want to see if i can actually snipe one of these statues down so let's go ahead and go into that uh camera view up here and uh, go ahead and tilt this up see if we can actually take down one of these uh I, I don't know how this actually fires so here we go we'll just aim it up like that hopefully that's good let's go ahead and see if that works uh does that actually hit him oh 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 was that close i couldn't tell uh it was kind of in the way okay let's go ahead and fire off another one and maybe another and uh, another and another and uh, a couple more and uh, maybe one of those will hit okay I, I don't think it goes far enough all right you're going down buddy here we go okay let's fire off one of these okay that was a little bit high let's go ahead and go down a little oh we actually hit it. no there we go okay we took him down beautiful let's go ahead and take out the other one as well here we go okay it looks like it goes really high but it kind of drops off uh, really quickly okay i just keep missing there we go uh please hit him there we go come on that was perfect yes we did take him out beautiful uh yeah this is an insanely awesome creation you guys should definitely check it out for yourself i will leave a link down below in the description let's go ahead and move on to the next creation of today's episode okay and this creation's name is called the flappy steampunk flyer and uh, as you guys see here it has a little platform that it uses to take off with all these wheels and like the rocket strapped to the back here uh, but just bear with me i'm not very good at flying in besiege and this creation is a little bit iffy uh like it, it does some random things sometimes let's go ahead and try to take off here and see how we do here we go and uh yeah we can let go of this rocket panel and it should fly off oh okay yep see sometimes it gets stuck to your creation and uh, it does this and it takes you down oh gosh oh here we go we're still flying we're good oh okay oh, okay okay let's go ahead and try this again here see if we can actually get taken off uh, you just have to get the right angle on it and it will actually fly away from the creation without blowing us up uh but yeah i i, I don't seem to be able to get it so let me go ahead and get us up into the air and uh yeah i'll see you guys there the creator did say that it is very hard to actually get it off of the ground using this method here oh okay there we go uh yeah all we have to do is wait for the rockets to uh, stop burning and we should be good there we go okay yeah this is an awesome creation i absolutely had to show it to you guys because i mean just look at it oh no please don't crash as soon as i start flying it there we go we're good okay no big deal uh but yeah it's a little bit different uh difficult to control okay yeah i just crashed it anyway let's go ahead and check out that crash that was pretty cool though uh but yeah it is a little bit difficult to control as you guys see there uh, you have to use like the right and left bracket to be able to turn it it's a little bit weird let me go ahead and get back up through the air we'll fly it around a little bit more okay here we go i've gotten it back up into the air finally uh but yeah it is really difficult to actually get taken off oh, oh, oh okay uh, oh no oh damn it okay yeah i crashed it again uh yeah oh anyways this is a really cool creation though it is a little bit difficult to get taken off but just the mechanisms that it uses to work it's really cool and uh, yeah it's insanely awesome i definitely recommend you guys check it out for yourself i will leave the link down below in the description as always uh but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next creation of today's episode okay and this creation's name is called the sf49 hyperion now this is a creation made by bramer 001 who is a viewer of mine and he always makes insanely realistic looking creations and they're always really cool and uh, yeah i had to show this one to you guys because it's insanely awesome so let's go ahead and get taken off here and uh, just start those jet engines there we go and i uh, see if we can go up here take out a statue you guys know that's my main first goal with any flying creation here we go come on buddy you're, you're not going to get away this time here we go and now uh, perfectly lined up oh okay yeah we don't have invincibility mode either i uh, see so, yeah we are kind of going to break a little bit no big deal there's also a little speed boost so let's go ahead and check this out here we go yeah it's significantly faster here okay yep and uh, okay yep i think we just crashed into that stuff 
that was really cool though and now it's doing this so okay this creation really doesn't do much more than this but it's insanely cool looking and i always love futuristic creations in besiege because it's like futuristic times mixed with medieval times and that's always great let's go ahead and see if we can take out this other statue over here come on buddy oh damn it. okay we just barely missed okay let's go ahead and go uh, for a little speed boost here it will actually crash into the ground see how this thing crashes here even though it's a little bit broken no big deal here we go kamikaze mission right into the ground beautiful and then uh, yeah it just breaks into a whole bunch of little parts and then uh, we start flying around like this uh, I, I don't know why it does this but it's really cool but you know whatever i, I won't complain but i definitely recommend you guys check it out for yourself down below in the description it's just really cool looking i don't know it looks really futuristic and uh, I, I just really like the design it's really cool looking uh, let's go ahead and crash into the mountain over here see how this does there we go nice little uh you know all, all this going on and that's always great but yeah this is a really cool creation you guys should definitely check it out for yourself but let's go ahead and move on to the next creation of today's episode okay and this creation's name is called the hardest plane to fly now i really don't know why i'm doing this to myself i'm not very good at flying in besiege anyway i figured it'd be a little bit funny for you guys and you guys might enjoy my you know all of my frustrations and all that good stuff but let's go ahead and take off here i did have startup pause because he starts taking off right away there okay it says to wait a few seconds for the water to heat up and then press y so there we go okay uh we should be good and that's just left and right and that's all we do okay and uh, yeah it takes off on its own you can't go up or down i don't think okay yeah we can't all we can do is go left and right like this uh but yeah this isn't too bad here okay okay now it's like this this is a little bit more difficult oh gosh there we go okay we didn't crash it yeah here we go we're good okay perfect uh yeah this isn't too bad this is actually pretty easy to fly i mean when there's only two controls it's pretty hard to you know mess it up here we go okay yeah i can't really go down though oh come on here oh yeah we can go down like this there we go you just have to angle yourselves right and then, yeah it's not too bad oh there we go there's a nice little crash yeah i get a little bit frantic though because it was going really fast but yeah this is actually pretty easy to fly let's go ahead and try this again here let's go ahead and try it over here wait a few seconds for this water to heat up you guys know how it is uh but yeah this is a really really cool creation i've never seen something like it before let's go ahead and take off that water there and we should be good to go start taking off buddy come on no no go up you need to go up up there we go oh gosh okay i think you actually have to wave it back and forth to go up a little bit i really don't know how this is working okay you guys can tell i'm sorry my brain is scrambling you know trying to fly this thing it's a little bit difficult there we go okay we're good oh come on oh there we go okay oh gosh okay yep right into the ground okay yep all right okay i really don't know if i'll be able to hit anything with this i really want to try to take something out uh, but yeah it's a little bit difficult to control as you guys can imagine you can only go left and right uh, you can kind of go up and down if you'd like angle it right and it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult and uh, a little bit dangerous here we go okay come on see if we can hit this oh there we go yes we took out a couple of houses that's all i wanted but yeah this creation is absolutely insane you guys should check it out for yourself down below in the description it's just really cool i love the way that it works and the mechanisms that it uses to fly uh, it's very difficult to fly you know you can only go left and right but it, it's still weird because you can si kind of control it i don't really know but it's really cool you guys should definitely check it out for yourself i will leave the link down below in the description as well as all the other creations let's go and get this nice little crash here and there we go okay uh okay oh we're still good actually okay uh, there we go just lay down buddy that's all you gotta do just lay down and, and let death come over you okay uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation of today's episode okay and this creation's name is called the vanilla hover car transformer this is a creation made by draco who's a very big besiege creator and he always makes insanely awesome creations i always love checking them out so let's just go ahead and drive around here a little bit as you guys see here it's basically like a steampunk slash car type thing i really don't know uh but yeah let's go ahead and go over here run over a couple of peasants houses you guys know how it is i always have to ruin a couple of peasants days every time i play besiege so here we go ruin a couple of their days get wrecked little dudes there we go okay let's go ahead and transform it into the hovercraft mode so i think we just press one and uh, that's it okay beautiful yeah this is an insanely awesome looking creation look at that that is absolutely beautiful okay and uh to move around here we just use these over here and that should be good okay let's go ahead and take out a couple of houses like this here we go and i should also probably mention that this doesn't need invincibility so it may break but yeah uh, for the most part here you guys can see it's quite sturdy and doesn't really break and uh yeah it seems quite nice so here we go let's go ahead and go over here take out a couple of houses on this side you guys know how it is and uh here we go okay let's actually try to go up the mountain i wonder if we can actually make it up the mountain i really don't know how this works so here we go come on buddy can you do it just oh, go just go that's all you gotta do just go oh okay i don't think that's gonna work all right okay yeah i don't think we're actually able to go over the mountain but we can go over little rocks like that quite nicely a little bit of stuff broke off i don't know what that stuff was but uh, obviously we don't need it because we're still going here uh but yeah this is an insanely awesome looking creation as you guys see here it has like the little wings and stuff and i think we can transform back into the car mode here we go we just press one or two there and now uh, we're good to go beautiful but yeah like i said though, this is an insanely awesome creation you guys should definitely check it out for yourself i will leave a link down below in the description let's go ahead and see if we can take out a couple more houses here we go okay i think we're a little bit broken this time uh, as you guys see the front end is kind of hovering down no big deal actually i haven't reset this thing for quite a little while so it's surprised i'm surprised that it's even still working uh, but yeah it's quite nice uh, let's go ahead and transform back into the car mode there we go we're good to go 
drive over the nights and uh, get wrecked little dudes. You guys know how it is. But yeah, this is insane awesome creation. I wonder if I can actually get this thing to fly by like flapping it in between the transformation modes. Let's go ahead and try this here and uh, see if we can actually get to fly. It's it, it's kind of working a little bit. I think it's just like the balloon that it uses for the hovercraft. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is actually working. Okay, no big deal. Uh, but yeah, this is an insanely awesome creation. You guys should check it out for yourself down below in the description. But let's go ahead and move on to the last creation of today's episode. Okay, for our last creation of today's episode, this creation's name is called the D25 Drill. As you guys see here, it's basically a giant drill made of a whole bunch of little drills. And uh, yeah, it's really cool looking. Let's go ahead and take off here, see how we do. And uh, yeah, as we start moving, the drill starts spinning. That's always beautiful. Okay, it does seem really slow though. I do have to run it in slow motion because as you guys see here, it is an insanely big creation. But let's go ahead and get up to the wall and see how we do versus the wall. Okay, this creation is painfully slow. Like it's taking me like five minutes just to move like a couple of inches. I think the main thing here is that the tank tracks don't really work that well because they don't tighten. So I'm gonna take the tracks off and just use the wheels and see if that works a little bit better. Okay, no, I found the problem here. It has nothing to do with the track at all those are fine it's these little pin blocks here that you guys see so let's get rid of these here i don't know why those are even there like it wouldn't be able to move the creation there's like no way to unpin them either so there's like no control for it or anything like that uh, but yeah that should be it we should be good to go here now okay let's uh go ahead and start this up it lags a little bit no big deal let's go ahead and get rid of that and now go ahead and move forward see if this works here we go come on buddy you can do this yeah as you guys see here it is moving now okay this should be a lot better let's go ahead and make our way over here and uh, see how we do against this castle all right here we go okay these first little guys are starting to get hit by the drill oh oh okay uh Die. there we go okay beautiful uh, yeah this is an insanely awesome looking creation as you guys see here it's a giant drill bit made of a whole bunch of little drill bits and i mean what more could you ever want in life that's all i've ever wanted so here we go we're almost to the wall let's see how we do okay uh we're almost here let's see how we breach that door uh, right through the door like it's nothing yeah i don't think this is going to be much of a hassle for us at all here we go okay yeah we're pretty much just going right through it destroying it all beautiful but yeah this is an insanely awesome creation it is a little bit difficult you know because like for at first i couldn't get it to move it looked like it was moving though when i first started and uh, yeah i don't really know but yeah, you have to get rid of those pin blocks, then you're fine, and you're able to move it around. And as you guys see here, it takes out pretty much everything. You know, no castle walls are a match for this giant drill. Uh, but yeah, this is an insanely awesome creation. You guys should definitely check it out for yourself down below in the description, as well as all the other creations that you guys saw today. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe. Show in the pack because we're pretty damn cool around here, if you guys ask me. And go ahead and check out some of these other videos from earlier in the week, if you guys would like to. It would greatly take my heart and make me smile. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay awesome, guys.